swim The horse he must trot And the girl she must slim Let's all join together Hoof in hoof, hand in hand Fin in fin, wing in wing It's a very good plan Let's build a love state Yeah Here in Notting Hill Gate Oh, I'm so excited, you know, it's like it's, it's a whole issue devoted to sex. It's a great time to be alive with so much sex around. Yeah, and there's never, there's never been so much sex around, you know, and I have to say, I love it. I really do. And sometimes, sometimes I think that all the sort of sex in my head and, like, the whole, the whole world of, like, sexiness is just gonna, you know, it's gonna explode and it'll then it'll just be everywhere. Well, as long as you remember to tidy up afterwards. <laughs> Oh no, look, these condoms just keep falling out of my pocket. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I carry condoms with me because the opportunity to have sex might arise at any time. They're great, look. Connoisseur condoms. Yeah, I use theirs as well, actually, look. Yeah, your packet looks older. <laughs> looks as if it even might be the, uh, the first ever packet of condoms. <laughs> no. I mean, if my parents just knew how sexually open and sort of comfortable I am in that whole area, they just, they just really freak out, you know? They're so, they're so repressed. Like your parents, I suppose, Alex? Not particularly. Um, remember when I was five, they made me stay up late to watch them making love. What? <laughs> it's pretty boring for a five-year-old. I thought, you know, so what? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> that's exactly what my reaction would be to, you know, if they asked me to watch them uh, having sex, I'd just think so, bloody what? You know. <laughs> Alex, why did your parents make you watch them having sex? I think I thought it would, you know, stop them being repressed and hung up, and then it worked, you know. To this day, I'm completely relaxed about having sex. Yeah, well, same as me. I'm completely relaxed about having sex. <laughs> I thought it'd be a really good idea to give Jill... Uh, ..like a whole half-page to write something about sex from the woman's angle. A whole half-page? Yeah, well, you know, women have sex as well, don't they? Yeah, but they have, uh, they have women's sex. <laughs> well, you know, obviously, and that must be bizarre, but, uh, <laughs> Don't forget, they are 30% of the population, whatever it is. I don't know. Rickman's invited us to a sex party tonight. A sex party? Yeah. A sex party? Wow, cool. A sex party. Sex party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, Alex, do you? Yeah, I do, actually. In fact, I've been to several hundred. Several hundred? <laughs> That's quite a lot. What are they, uh, what are they like? Well, yeah. things can get a little bit... Uh, out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd like that. I think, I think you would, especially since, uh, well, you know, it's been a while, hasn't it? What? No, don't you worry about me. I'm getting my end away. <laughs> yeah, you may be getting your end away, but are you having sex? <laughs> That's what I mean, Alex, by getting my end away. It's a, a new euphemism for having sex. I heard a painter and decorator say it on Panorama. Oh, <laughs> oh I remember that. I can uh, use it the next time I talk about sex to a painter and decorator. <laughs> By the way, Alex, that guitar you're tuning, it doesn't have any strings. No, but I can hear the sounds in my head. I have to say something. It's been bothering me recently. I feel that a lot of members of staff are looking at my arse. <laughs> I thought it would be obvious, and I wouldn't have to say this, but that very private part of me is out of bounds to all members of staff. I, I think it's best if no one looks at it at all or even thinks about it. Agreed? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one other thing. Um, I've read that men think about sex, what is it, every six seconds? Um, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> make that every six minutes. Agreed? Okay. Um, right, well, I've said my piece. I'm just worried about sexual stereotyping, you know, and I feel a bit. Ah! Uh, no, it's a house. <laughs> Uh, must belong to my nephew, I think. Right, OK. <laughs> I just got confused. It was a dark shape. <laughs> if you just um, remember what I said about the, um, you know, not thinking... not thinking about my... Um, yeah. Arse. Oh. Great. Right, I meant to ask you this. Um, did you have fun when you started going out with Jill? You know, I mean, uh, that side of things. Did we have fun? Are you joking? Two people as unrepressed as me and Jill. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two. Come and join in. Um, <coughs> if I yeah, what time are you thinking of going to the pub? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it was really good. <laughs> How long have you been balancing that guitar on your face, Hugo? Mm, about two hours now. I just need a distraction to stop me thinking about Jill's arse. You know, ever since you told me we weren't allowed, I've just become obsessed with it. I've gone Jill's arse crazy. <clears throat> Jill, this uh, bash at Rickman's, I should warn you, it's the kind of party that might just get a little bit out of hand. So, uh, you know. I know what? Well, you know, I might, uh, I might get off with someone, you know. I mean, we're being pretty open with each other, aren't we? And, I'm, and, and, and that's what you wanted, so... Yeah, in fact, uh, I'm meeting a guy tonight. <laughs> a bit of a blind date. I put an ad in Florum, the underground magazine for lesbians that Cynthia writes for. <laughs> How do you know he won't be a lesbian? <laughs> because I placed the ad in the straight woman wishing to meet straight man section. Is that one of their larger sections? I thought that a man who reads a lesbian magazine might not be as interested in my arse. Lesbians are traditionally very interested in arses. Um, maybe it's because they don't have as much to play with. Firstly, that's not true. And B, feminism must always be the periscope sticking out of the submarine of the new consciousness. Well, I'm sorry, it's no good. I, I'm, I'm still completely obsessed. No, me too. Can't stop looking at it. Um, good job, actually, her eyes aren't round the back. Well, I think she's in the... <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, I've never actually focused on it before, but ever since she mentioned it, that's all I can think about, you know? Jill's arse, there. It's right in my face. <laughs> Hope nobody's thinking about my you-know-what when I'm not here. No, no, no. We were talking about R.D. Lang. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Well, what is wrong with you, Ray? Nothing. I'm perfectly repressed. Calm. <laughs> I'm off to Cynthia's. <laughs> no, I'm so, it's no good. I, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to go out and and do something that's going to stop me thinking about it. <laughs> Alex, you know, Jill was saying earlier on about men thinking about sex every six seconds. Yeah. I think about it every three seconds. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Mick Jagger might be coming to the party tonight. Really? Yeah, unless he feels too sexy. Um, I was reading about him in Disc magazine. Sometimes he feels too sexy and then it's dangerous for him to leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> Mick Jagger, you know, he must have sex all the time. Well, he might as well. I just think, you know, when he's 55, sitting in his rocking chair. So I bet he'd be, uh, he'd be pretty nostalgic for those long gone days when he was just <laughs> obsessed with pulling chicks. And... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I bet I'd be really embarrassed about the whole thing. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, right. Uh, sorry, um, meant to say, there's a crow in the garden been um, doing his business on your clothesline. No, no, Alex, this isn't bird shit. <laughs> it's part of the design. It's, uh, you know, it's the height of fashion. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Alex, I meant to tell you, um, we're going over to watch the moon landings next month at Jill's new flat. It's uh, quite high up. Do you want to come? No, thanks. I think I'll just watch it on television. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you meant it was so high up you could actually watch it with the naked eye, but... Uh, <laughs> of course, that would be a completely mad idea, right? 
you think she minds you going to this party tonight? No, I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting off with a different bird, you know. I think I could be drying my brushes before the night is out. Careful, Ray. I think that might be an actual painting and decorating term. <laughs> You know, I mean, Jill's great and all that, but uh, sometimes you've just got to splash your love around, you know? <laughs> I bet you I don't think of Jill once at Rickman's tonight. Himself there, then. Undoubtedly. <laughs> That's the difference, Ray. The man who can truly please a woman says, I want to make love to you all over. The masturbator says, I want to make love all over you. <laughs> Which are you, Ray? The generous lover or the mean masturbator. Well, um, <clears throat> if I'm honest, I, I'm, I have to say I'm probably a bit of both. <laughs> How is Jill? Oh, it's good, yeah, fine. She's, uh, we've got this whole open relationship thing going, so... Be careful she doesn't castrate you, Ray. <laughs> a man's greatest fear. Oh, God, I shudder just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I won't allow myself to think about it. No! I won't! Ray, you must never allow a woman to hold the upper hand. <laughs> Jill, you look fantastic. And um, I have to say, I'm feeling very, very horny. I want you to close your eyes, Ray. And don't open them until I say... Now. <laughs> what? I know this is the proper thing to do, Ray. You're not in the right frame of mind for a sex after being chased by that bear. To do with us having a sex? Yes, it does. Your male hormones are jumping around like Germans. <laughs> You've got your sign very professionally printed. <laughs> Planning on using that a lot in future? Oh, yes. See that? My swimming pool is shaped like my ass. 
I find it erotic. You've got a swimming pool in the shape of your ass. Yes, they took a mould and scaled it up. <laughs> of course, I asked them to remove any blemishes. I'm not without vanity ray. They could cause a child to trip in the shallow end. <laughs> Look, Professor Terry Phelps. I'm determined not to argue with him tonight. We always end up fighting and it ruins everything. I'll just go and say hello. We'll be perfectly sore. Terry! Yes, well, you've no good sex. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about her ass. We like you, Alex. Oh, yes, there is something about the way you look. This is the sixth party we've been to tonight, but now I think our search is over. You are cutie cute. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yes, and you are, uh, I, I, I think the word in French is, uh, put. Ah. <laughs> of course, that means prostitute, sorry. Uh, yeah, I think I meant to say, uh, very beautiful. Ah, but you are instantly forgiven because you are cutie cute. <laughs> There is a saying in French, bon, I can only give you a rough translation. You attract us like bells to a rusty plank. I think that must be a very rough translation, because I, uh, I have absolutely no idea what you mean. Walk away from me, you charlatan! Oh, don't! Fake! You charlatan! Fake! Charlatan! Look at them, fighting like two young stags. Terry thinks psychosociology is a bogus theory that Rickman has formulated just to hide his intense fear of castration. I'm Gloria, by the way. Oh, I'm, I'm Ray. Have you seen Rickman's swimming pool shaped like his ass? Quite remarkable. But Terry refuses to be outdone. He has a mini golf course in the grounds of his house in Spain shaped like his balls. <laughs> One can see them from the air as one flies in from Sociedad. <laughs> he got Filippo Arbitrar, the great Spanish landscape artist, to design it. What do you think of that, Ray? Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to picture it. <laughs> it's an uncanny likeness. All I can say is Arbitrar must be some kind of genius. He's really caught Terry's balls. <laughs> he worked from photographs, of course, Terry wouldn't have him in the house. He's a dirty bastard. Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> He's also done a splendid statue of my legs. Oh, Ray, I'm sorry. All this chat about golf balls and ass pools. I suppose you've never even been to a sex party before. Me? No, oh, no, no, I've been to several hundred. Yeah, I'm very well used to having my walls stuccoed. <laughs> What's that? It sounds like it's got something to do with painting and decorating. <laughs> so, Ray, what do you do? Um, I'm, I'm the editor of a magazine uh, called Math. It's a, it's a math on the face of young people. I know it. Do you? Yes, I think you know my son, Alex. Mum, hi, hey. Uh, <laughs> have you met Ray? Oh, yes. Mum, I've got these uh, three French girls, and... Um... Oh. <laughs> Good, good. Um, I'm just going to go off and have some uh, French lessons. <laughs> yeah, French lessons, my foot. I bet you're going to have sex with them. They'll be getting up to all kinds of weird, kinky stuff. I think that's great, don't you, Ray? Yeah, but just excuse me a second. Alex, Alex, uh, Alex what's going on? I've been here for two hours waiting for things to get out of hand. <laughs> Nothing's happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> but shit. <laughs> it's not. It's the height of fashion. <laughs> Ray, I'm suddenly very bored. Could you give me a lift home? You've, you've only just got here. I only live a few miles away. You can give me a lift home and come back later. You... Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, does anyone in the audience have any requests? I can't stop thinking about her arse. 
Ah yes, that beautiful old Irish tune. I can't stop thinking about her arse. <laughs> Oh, come in for one drink, Ray. Sit down, Ray. <laughs> it looked as though there was another ghastly row brewing between Rickman and Terry. <laughs> They're such bitter rivals. Cocktail, Ray? Um, yeah, uh, then I really should get back. And shall I get a rag to wipe that stuff off your shoulders? No, no, it's just... <laughs> It's the height of fashion. <laughs> what does this look like, Ray? Ray, look at me. What do you think this looks like? I, I don't know. I think you do, Ray. It looks like a man having a wank. <laughs> what? What? You can't! I can't believe that you're so rude! <laughs> Come on, Ray, lighten up for goodness sake. This is a, an uninhibited age we live in. We can say what we like. <laughs> I've just noticed. I'm not wearing a bra. Oh. <laughs> Did you notice that, Ray? I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> oh, Ray, you're so nervous. I'm not repressed. I said nervous, not repressed. Did you? Oh, well, look, I've got to go. And... <laughs> it doesn't open from the inside, Ray. <laughs> oh, but then, you know, I mean, there must, there must be another way out because. Otherwise, I'll be, I'll be in here forever. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not going to happen, is it? I was boarded up in a bedroom once. Finish your drink, Ray. There's no rush. Excuse me a second. Keep his hands off me during the sitting. He's a dirty bastard. <laughs> Did you see my plaster cast downstairs? It's a little hobby of mine. I've got all kinds of men to uh, leave their impression. Film stars, politicians. <laughs> I've even got my father's. But my God! <laughs> Just the, the, the mere idea of suggesting to my father that I take a plaster cast of his knob. <laughs> He would have laughed at you. Well, something like that, yes. <laughs> oh, my God! It's my husband. What are we going to do? He's very jealous. Oh. He mustn't find us alone in my bedroom. Oh, God! <laughs> Don't panic. I know what to do. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Just doing another of my plaster cast. Hello. <laughs> Come on, Ray. What's the matter with you? Oh, you 
Thanks. No, um, before we do anything else, um, I have to say this. I'm a person. I'm a person who just happens to be a woman, and that's just an accident of nature. And just because I'm a woman and you're a man, that doesn't mean we can't have a perfectly normal relationship. But the one thing I won't tolerate is you looking at my ass. <laughs> if I even suspect you're even thinking about it, that's for me to. You're thinking about my ass, aren't you? <laughs> Even I'm starting to think about it now. Stop. 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 I can't think about my own ass. Welcome to our flat, Alex. <laughs> my girl, Justine, meet Alex. Hi. Yeah, um, not quite what I had in mind, but, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, uh... I promise not to think about it all the time. <laughs> Just need permission to think about it sometimes. All right then. It's great that relief. Great, that's uh, thanks, you. Thanks again. Just as long as you don't think about my tits. <laughs> Jill, I've been thinking about us, and um, I, just, I just don't think I'm going to get off with anyone else, no. you know? No, and I just, I, what do you say, you know, why don't we just, I think we should just give it a try. Just, we could go, we could go in there right now, into your bedroom and really, you know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Maybe not. And the comedy zones off to Royston Vasey with the League of Gentlemen next. Peace, love, love, peace, love, love. Peace, love, peace, love, peace, love. Peace, love, peace, 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 peace. Peace, love, love, peace, love, peace, love, peace. Peace, 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 love, peace, love. And all that we're saying is love, peace, peace, love, love. So, how did it go with those French chicks, Alex? Uh, well, I went back to the flat, and there were two other guys there. Well, what, you just paired off? No, the girls just wanted more choice, really. And, uh, well, shouldn't blow my own trumpet, but, uh... <laughs> I am apparently very cutie-cute. Shame we didn't get that half-page by Jill on the woman's view of sex, but uh, in the end there just wasn't enough room. You know, I, I, I should be a little bit annoyed with her because uh, she wrote slightly more than half-page. <laughs> And maybe one day you know, women will have their own magazine to write about their views on sex or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what that would be like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>